Cross is now more elected than the rest of the chapter in the fall. I would like to welcome all students, relatives, faculty, and honor guests to this year's National Honor Society and We acknowledge the accomplishments and hard work of all the members and inductees of the National Honor Society. These students have exemplified the quality of character, scholarship, leadership, and service. Now I will introduce our principal, Mr. Ryan. again be here uh, in April to celebrate the accomplishments of our young scholars here at Joseph Pace High School. Uh, before I uh, <laughs> don't even know what to do with that. Uh, I don't usually use a microphone. That's that's what's strange. Is it even on? No. <laughs> I'm a slow learner. <laughs> O-N is a good direction for the microphone to be on. Here we go. Thank you. You know, we say in the front office when these things happen, I look right Christopher Costa right in the face and I say, and I smile and I say, that's awesome. And this is an awesome evening. There's my nice segue into it. So, Kylie, thank you very much for that, for the, for the introduction here. Uh, before um, I have a, a very, very brief words to say, I just want to uh, introduce some of the people that are on the stage with me. We'll get to know the officers of the National Honor Society in a few minutes. But joining us this evening is uh, our awesome assistant principal, Mr. Chris Costa. Our brand new advisor to the National Honor Society, Dr. Elizabeth Jansen. Our assistant superintendent of schools, Ms. Elizabeth White. And our superintendent of schools, Mr. John Rabadou. I love this evening. Why do I love this evening? Because it is a really happy, positive evening that celebrates the best of Swansea, the best of Joseph Case High School. What I, re what I really like about this evening is it reminds me of my own experience at Joseph Case High School because I too was a, a member of Capital way back in the late 70s in the, in the early seminal years of, of the National Honor Society here in the new high school as what we called it at that time. What's really great about this evening, as, as Kylie told us before, it is a celebration of, uh, of, of being a scholar, being a leader, doing community service, and having high character. But it's also a reflection of everyone else here in the auditorium right now. Your accomplishments, boys and girls, are really a, are a reflection of all the people who have, who have come here on the 5th of June to share in this awesome night with you because it's the hard work of moms and dads and adults who, are, who act like your moms and dads and your grandparents and your brothers and your sisters and your grandmothers and your grandfathers and your neighbors and your closest and dearest friends. All of these people have worked really hard to get you to the auditorium on April 5th, 2018. And that, my friends, is awesome. That's the real awesome. Because everyone here assembled, and especially our VIPs, the people you have chosen, where this, that you have chosen, seniors, to say this was one of the most influential forces in my public school education whether it's the past four years at Case High School or a reflection of the past 12 in Swansea Public Schools or your adventures elsewhere here. These are the most important influences. These are your mirrors. When you had these people in class, you sat there and thought, my goodness, when I grow up, I want to be just like, and fill in the blank with any of these names in front of you. That's awesome. My friends, at no time in your life Will you have more support in one building Monday through Friday than you do in high school? You will never have more adults rooting for your success. And tonight, you mirror, you are the mirror of all of our efforts 
to get you there. Before I turn it back over to uh, the president of the National Honor Society, I would be remiss without introducing a representative from the Swansea School Committee. In one of his last official acts here, as a, as a long-standing stand, member, I think we should uh, put our hands together for a great supporter of Swansea Public Schools, Dr. A. Keith Carrero. At this time, I'd like to formally introduce our National Honor Society advisor, Dr. Elizabeth Jansen. Now that we have our microphone working, I just want to call up the president again to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This has been my first year um, and it has been an honor to work with this very large group of students. We have 37 uh, seniors this year, and they have made many endeavors and they've had a lot of learning processes. As Kylie just realized, wait a minute, we went a little off script, but everything can be rectified. Um, at this time, I want to call Mr. McCann back up here to help us introduce the Capital Class of 2018. Seniors, please rise. As I call each name, uh, Mr. McCann will present each member with an honor cord that represents their academic achievement, their service, character, and leadership. Tyler Abdallah. <laughs> Jacob Enktel. Haley Armberg. Michael Bisbano. Brandon Carvalho. Sydney Correa. Sydney Duquette. <laughs> Holly Ann Faria. <laughs> Michaela Goulet. Abigail Gracie. <laughs> Brittany Lynn Kegley. <laughs> William Kenyon. <laughs> Kylie Lecomte. Fallon Marchand. Autumn Madeiras. Aiden Mello. Samantha Moreira. Jared Nobrega. Ryan Normand. Lauren.
Lynn Notarangelo. Sarah Orton. <laughs> Hannah Paquette. <laughs> John Plant. <laughs> Lindsay Pryor. Travis Purcell. <laughs> Hannah Sears. <laughs> Skylar Steblin. <laughs> Emma Teves. Olivia Thompson. <laughs> Kathleen Toland. <laughs> Alexia Wagner. <laughs> and Jameson Ward. And now our Vice President is going to discuss some of the characteristics of NHS. Membership of the Capitao Chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the effective demonstration of the four qualities held in high esteem by the Society. The National Honor Society officers will review these qualities for the candidates. The first is scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when the formal education has ended, for education ends only with life. Knowledge is one great element in life that leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnished the lamp by which we read the past and will light the and li the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a charge to each of our members and to the candidates.
character is the force within each individual that distinguishes that person from others. It gives individuality to each person. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be, in reality, what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities in, as reliability, honesty, and sincerity, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. I would like to once again call upon Mr. McCann and Mr. Costa to help present the 2018 and 2019 candidates for the National Honor Society. Seniors and juniors, please rise. We have three seniors who will be inducted tonight. Um, so they will receive a cord as well as, a, as, well as light a candle. Okay, so Mackenzie Deshanes. Samantha Dias. <laughs> Ethan Hickey. And now the junior candidates. Henning Anderson. Kristen Anselmo. Zachary Moreo. Jillian Beaupre. Gabriella Bello. <laughs> Ashley Cavarlo. <laughs> Samuel Chase. Christopher Costa. Rylan Costa. Veronica Costa. Rachel Davidson. <laughs> Abigail Damaris. <laughs> Cole Escobar.
Jacob Estrella. Elisa Fielauer. You got it. Christopher Ferreira. Kyle Furtado. Courtney Jacobson. Nathaniel Keegley. Cameron McCombs. Madison Madeiras. Cassandra Melker. Zachary Miranda. Ryan Nascimento. Annabelle Paiva. Holly Paquette. Lauren Rosendis. Jeremy Rocha. Jennifer Rodriguez. Rebecca Rodriguez. Gina Rounds. Casey Santier. Catherine Soper. <laughs> Jamie Travis. This is the true test of whether they pass NHS is if they can keep the candle lit and get it lit. <laughs> Mr. McCann's also a candle expert. Jenna Zhang.
the candidates will repeat the pledge. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society, to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will maintain and encourage high standards, high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Let's take a moment and welcome the newest members of Capital. Seniors and juniors, please be seated. The individuals we are about to present were invited as guests of honor by the senior class. Each person has made a significant impact on the senior's journey through their education and has been invited as a token of appreciation. Okay. Mr. Adam Pomigiano, Joseph Case High School che teacher. <laughs> Ms. Jennifer Xavier, Joseph Case, Joseph Case Junior High School teacher. Mrs. Michaela Gonzalez, Joseph Case High School slash coach and teacher. Mrs. Denise Morrow, Joseph Case High teacher. Mr. Frank and Mrs. Christine Luca, St. Dominic's Youth Ministry. <laughs> Dr. David Pascarello, Joseph Case High School teacher. Mr. William Solari, Joseph Case High School Marching Band Instructor. Senora Katia Pereira, Joseph Case High School Teacher. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Whalen, sorry, Whalen, <laughs> Joseph Case High School Teacher. <laughs> Mr. Christopher Kenyon, Joseph Case High School Teacher. Mrs. Rebecca Hall, Joseph K. Sai teacher. Mr. Mark Fairchild, Joseph K. High School teacher. <laughs> Mr. Timothy Cabral, former Joseph K. High teacher, junior highs. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Robert Mitchell, Joseph K. High School teacher slash coach. Mr. Peter Brock, Joseph K. Sai teacher. <laughs> Ms. Danielle Holden, Rainbow Bear Preschool teacher. <laughs> Mr. Neil Geronimo, Joseph K. Sai teacher. <laughs> Mr. Peter Soares, Joseph Case Junior High School teacher. Miss April Hanks, Joseph K. Sai teacher. That's okay. Good. Dr. Elizabeth Jansen, Joseph K. High School teacher. <laughs> Mr. Robert Eddy, Joseph K. Sai teacher, who is now retired. <laughs> Mrs. Melissa Crossan, Joseph K. High School teacher. Mrs. Trisha Rodriguez, Case Theater Choreographer. Mrs. Ann Walsh, Brown Elementary Teacher. And finally, Mr. Timothy A. Lee, Joseph Case High, Marching Band Instructor.
Thank you all for coming tonight, and I just wanted to offer some special thanks to Mr. Robidoux, Ms. White, Mr. McCann, Mr. Costa, members of the National Honor Society Faculty Council, uh, Mr. Butts, Mr. Brown, Mrs. Fisher, Ms. Hanks, uh, as well as Mrs. Cronin, the guidance secretary, and the parents and the guardians. All of you, without you, this would not have been possible. So I'm going to welcome back Kylie, and then we will recess, and I hope you all join us for some cake. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Congratulations to all the new members of National Honor Society. Uh, I invite all of you guys to, for some refreshments in the lobby. Um, seniors, uh, you will currently leave the auditorium. And yeah, rise and, uh, and juniors, too. Yeah. juniors and seniors, rise and recess.